What's up my good people, this is Elvis Derry and I'm back with a fresh and brand new episode. So if you're this channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe man. and uh, we're still right at uh, Tanzania, Zanzibar, East Africa and we're heading to Stone Town man. But uh, I've seen, you know, this amazing sign, Zanzibar Butterfly Center, but I'll let our brother right here introduce himself and uh, tell us more about it. My brother, welcome. Okay, my name is Pandu. I will be a butterfly to a guide here. Well, here we have Butterfly Center the sign, show um, the people we're working butterfly with the butterfly here, so you are welcome. Yeah, man. So, guys, welcome to Zen ZBC uh, Zanzibar Butterfly Center, right at uh, Zanzibar. So, you are welcome to the reception. I'm gonna give you information for the butterfly. Have a seat, please. Um, so you're welcome. Uh, my name is Bandu. I will be your butterfly to a guide. We have garden covered in the net. We put butterfly in there before we go. Give information for the project, see butterfly life cycle, and then we're going to see butterfly. This is community project open 18 years ago. Project founded by Scottish. Scottish men bring the center. Uh, really want to help people around here. Most of the people live in this area. They are daily activity, chop the tree down, make charcoal, fill wood, building piles, timber. This is not good for the environment. It's not good for the future. That's why Scottish men bring the center to save the forest and give people lovely wood. Um, project train the people how to breed the butterfly. You know, the butterfly have four stages. First, eggs. Second, caterpillar. The third, cocoons or chrysalis. And fourth, the butterfly. This one still cocoon, show how open. But um, project train local people how to collect eggs, how to raise caterpillar. Um, they buy themselves this at home. When the caterpillar turning to chrysalis, so the local people bring sell to the center and they get money. The money you pay as entrance fee pay back to people when they bring their butterfly here to sell. Okay, if, if the people get money, uh, they won't go in the forest chop the trees. They're still uh, farming butterfly. Let me show you butterfly life cycle. This is really butterfly eggs yeah this one it's butterfly eggs this okay and my hand okay put it back in the jar few days in the jar open to get um, the second stage second stage are caterpillars you see the caterpillar Okay, the second stage and the third stage chrysalis or oh, cocoons. Um, this is what people bring to the center, the different species, different salt. Yeah. Yes sir, you see the different species? Yeah, it's about four different species. Yeah. You know, the butterfly are seasonal. So different season, different butterfly. Yeah, we go to see butterfly this way. How, how did you know the center? I was passing a and I saw the sign. Oh, you saw the sign? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Big sign, okay. Um, yeah, we have a different animal in, in this. Oh, you see elephant shrew. You see there? Is the elephant shrew? 
Yeah. 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 Look at the one. Some called uh, ant eater. Ah. Ant eater. Yeah. Ant eater. Just we called sometime <laughs> Zanzibar elephant. Called Zanzibar. Uh, the small, like red, small with a long trunk. Ah. Yeah, that's called Zanzibar elephant. Because we don't have big. Welcome. Okay, welcome. Uh, we come to the, our, our cage. We put a different sort of butterfly here. But before we walk around to take a picture, let's give you more information for Brandon. See the butterfly. Look at the different butterfly. That's why I'm called Golden Golden Bended Forester. Golden Bended Forester, the name of that one. Um, this is incubator. We put our uh, chrysalis or cocoon from the people. When the people bring to the center, we, we attach on stick with the glue, but naturally attached by their own. And then we keep in incubator in order to hatch. Okay, let's see how they, some of them hatching, some of this not. They're different sort, different species, you see? Then there's, oh, is that all? We attach with glue. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. So you guys, anytime you come to Zanzibar, uh, make sure you come uh, to Zanzibar Butterfly Center and check it out, man. Like, uh, all this, like, uh, what I'm seeing today, like, is just quite interesting. Very fascinating. Yeah, you see the new newborn. Oh. Yeah, newborn. Amazing, amazing. Uh, uh. <laughs> See, still, yeah, still baby. When they're ready, they go. Look at the diff uh, different species. Okay. Look at this one. So it's called blue, blue pansy. Come on, blue, blue, pansy. blue pansy. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, there's some blue. blue. Uh oh, you say still baby won't fly. Ah. Yeah, should take back here. So when they are young, they can't fly. Yeah, yeah, still baby. You know, when it come out from the pupa, from the pupa kids, uh, they come um, open with the crumpled wings. So, so they're hanging, um, pink black when they're ready. We we'll let them go. And these ones, they like, they look quite unique, you know. Yeah, it look like they um, they have golden spots. Ah. Yeah. It looks like they have. You know, some butterfly they are poison, and some non poisonous. Ah, okay. Poisonous just for um, other predator, not for human beings. Ah. And this non poisonous one, yeah, poisonous one all time they camouflage. Yeah, non poisonous, no, no poisonous one, oh, they shining. Shining, the poisonous one. So, so you can say like these are poisonous. Yeah, not not for human. Ah. And non-poisonous one, mm -hmm. all time camouflage. Look like a leaf, like a dry leaves. Ah. You see, this is non-poisonous. All time they hide. Ah. Understand? Ah. The poisonous one, all time, yeah. Ah. You can see is easy easy to see. Okay. Question. Uh, engine oil stop the ants. Yeah, the ants eat a uh, butterfly. So uh, this engine oil, uh, you put it here so that the ants cannot go and eat. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh. This is better than water. 
you know, water is term evaporating. This is doesn't you know, evaporate. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay well, let's walk around to see the different species. Good one. Yeah. Thank you. So when it's raining, butterfly won't fly. They hide. Yeah. They're active when the when the sun shine. Also butterfly shining. Active. We put. Uh, you see, this is mango. Um, better food for butterfly. But they prefer rotten one, not fresh ones. Yeah. This is mating ones. You see? Male and female. Together. You see? Look at the abdomen. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. Let's, let's help them. Yeah. You see how they, huh? oh, they're mating. Yeah, they make baby. They need, they need to make more babies. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, of course. After this, after mating, they lay eggs. Mm. You know, butterfly they lay on special plants, not any plants, oh. special ones. That's why we have people from butterfly. So when they have small breeding cage at home, it's about. Um, three meter round, the small cage, grow the special plant for butterfly laying eggs. Uh, people, uh, farmers should go in the forest to catch female one. Uh, they are knowledgeable. 90% the female from the forest, already pregnant. Ah. So they catch it, put in the small breeding cage. Uh, they feed nectar. When they're okay, fluttering to find special plant to lay the eggs. And understand the smell, touch, taste, butterfly, make sure this is correct plant, they put eggs. People collect the eggs from their breeding cage, not from the forest. Understand? Yeah. So when they put in the small jar, few days open, they feed with uh, feed caterpillar with the right plant. Caterpillar grow till two weeks, caterpillar turning to chrysalis or cocoon, bring to the center and get money. The money the people pay here and transfer, pay back to local when they bring their... So you guys like, uh, you know, that is, uh, you know, it's much better instead of cutting down trees. Yeah. Save the planet, save the oh, earth, man. Of, of course. Yeah. This is a good, good project. Yeah. Yeah, sustainable, yeah. Save the forest and the people make a living. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it's a good one. So thank you so much uh, for your time. Like it's, uh, I've, I've really learned uh, quite a lot of things today, new things about how uh, you know the, how they breed, you know how they live their lives. You know the butterflies, man. Like uh, as you can see, like this garden is, is very beautiful, very amazing. And uh, my brother, if anybody coming here, uh, you know, if anybody would like to come here and visit, also see the butterfly, learn new things, how can they reach here? Um, I mean, we can reach here. Uh, we have uh, internet, I think. We have a uh, um, sign on the road. So, f f from Stone Town, we have about um, seven kilometers from Stone Town to here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, we have an entrance fee here. So, entrance fee the six dollar per person uh, in shillings, fourteen thousand shillings per person. We have garden, you can see different salt in the garden. Okay. Thank you so much. Asante, welcome. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>